Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. Starting off with some eventful weather, sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, One Hour is here for you. We warned you about the strong winds yesterday. Now we're learning the weather system led to power outages, flight delays, and even snow. Review Journal's Renee Summerauer has the details. Renee. Jen, wind gusts reached up to 60 miles per hour, according to meteorologist Todd Laricos. The October storm at one point Monday night left more than 11,000 customers without power, according to Envy Energy's website. At the north end of the strip near Sahara Avenue, traffic and street lights were out, while 24-hour restaurants and other businesses were shuttered. Power was out briefly at the Strat and Sahara. The Clark County Department of Environment and Stability issued a dust advisory for Monday because of the high winds. Winds, the dust impacting visibility at McCarran International Airport, which said in a tweet that strong winds were affecting flights coming into Las Vegas. In the valley, temperatures will continue to drop on Wednesday when morning temperatures could reach 48 degrees before warming up for the rest of the week. Jen. Thanks, Renee. And speaking of cooler temps, it may only be fall, but Mount Charleston is already looking like a winter wonderland. The National Weather Service is reporting about four inches of snow there. Now here's a more detailed look at the forecast here in the valley. Temps are in the 60s, should go down to the 50s, then 48 degrees in the overnight hours. On Wednesday, we're looking at a pleasant day with a high of 70 degrees. Lows will get chilly, though, at 48 degrees. Similar weather for the rest of your week until Sunday when highs get back up to the 80s. Now on to other top stories sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. Las Vegas police are investigating an officer-involved shooting in the Northeast Valley in front of the Albertsons near Sloan Lane and Charleston Boulevard. Well, they determined that a suspect had kidnapped his ex-girlfriend and had fled the area while possessing a firearm. Usually don't have anything happen like this around here, so it's a little scary. Police say when the suspect pointed his firearm at officers, they shot him and he died at the scene. In other news, the West Las Vegas Library is commemorating Hispanic Heritage Month. Whatever you put your mind to, you can be. Whether it's a doctor, whether it's an attorney, uh, whether it's a, a political leader or whether it's someone who's just highly civically engaged. Uh, we want them to know that there is no barrier and there is no ceiling to what you can accomplish in this life as long as you put your best foot forward. This Hispanic Youth Leadership Summit brought together more than 200 high school students who heard from business leaders about civic engagement, financial literacy and entrepreneurship. Now to your sports update, sponsored by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app and get a bonus up to $500 when you sign up. Immediately following the resignation of John Gruden, the Raiders named special teams coordinator Rich Basaccia as the interim head coach. He's been the assistant head coach and special teams coach uh, for a while. And he's been all around the league. He's got relationships with everybody. Obviously, with uh, the current coaching staff, he's very plugged in and knows what everybody wants to do. And it just makes sense. A special teams coordinator, uh, even when they're not the assistant head coach, makes a ton of sense because it allows the offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator to stay in place, continue doing their job, and have that continuity as the special teams coach just moves over and takes over those head coaching duties. Uh, he's, he's acted a lot as the head coach because John Gruden has so much responsibility on the offensive side. And we know the Raiders special teams have been very good. So uh, Rich Passaccia, a very safe, uh, solid choice. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The NHL season is underway. The Colorado Avalanche are the plus 570 favorites to win the Stanley Cup at Circa Sports. The Golden Knights are next at plus 760, followed by the two-time defending champion Tampa Bay Lightning at plus 775. The Golden Knights are minus 195 favorites to win the Pacific Division. In business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. The Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority approves the sale of its 10-acre strip front property for $120 million. LVCVA's Board of Directors unanimously voted to sell it to real estate developers who operate a resort in Chile. Proceeds will be used toward renovating LVCVA's four exhibit halls. 
Southwest Airlines flight cancellations continue to impact travelers coming in and out of Vegas. The McCarran International Airport spokesperson says passengers should still be checking their flight status before heading to the airport. Plus, Bass Pro Shops is gearing up for the holiday season with plans to hire 54 workers at its Las Vegas store. The company will host a hiring event Wednesday and Thursday. In Health, sponsored by 4M Dental, love your smile again. Free meals for all students in the Clark County School District, at least through the spring of 2025. CCSD says it'll expand its free meal program so students and parents won't have to fill out an application. Superintendent Jesus Jara says, quote, access to nutritious meals is vital to student success. Meanwhile, an uptick in COVID deaths in Clark County. The Southern Nevada Health District reported 16 deaths from the virus, more than double the 14-day moving average. Clark County recorded over 450 new cases, while the test positivity rate remained at 7%. In your lifestyle news, looks like MGM Grand will be saying adios to Hecho in Vegas, Mexican Grill and Cantina. MGM Resorts announced the restaurant will close permanently by early November. The Cantina opened in 2013, serving items like the Sonoran Dog and enchiladas with colorful sauces that represent the Mexican flag. And chocolate lovers, get your taste buds and, well, wallets ready. Reservations are now being accepted to visit the Holiday Cactus Garden at FLM Chocolates in Henderson. And starting this year, there's a $5 donation required per group of six people for each reservation. In entertainment, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada. David Lee Roth is sending some mixed messages after announcing last week he'll be retiring after his five shows at Mandalay Bay in January. On Monday, he later posted this online, which says, the last tour, unless it isn't. Guess Diamond Dave wants to keep his options open. On Jeopardy, Matt Amodio might have won more games than Vegas' own James Holsauer, but in terms of total dollars won, he was almost a million dollars shy, ending his 38-game winning streak on Monday. Amodio won $1.5 million behind Holsauer's $2.4 million. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here for more 7 at 7 tomorrow. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.